Just to add some context to this video, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what is the 24 Hours of Lemons? It's an endurance racing series dedicated to road courses with cars that are budgeted at about $500. This doesn't include any safety equipment such as tires, wheels, roll cage, brakes, fire suppression system, fuel cell. And Joe wanted to do it last year, things didn't work out, so this is our journey to doing it this year. We are partnering up with St. Jude's Children's Hospital here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a fundraiser for how many laps we can last out there with our budget rebuild. Or if you'd like to just straight up donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, I'll leave the links down below. Either way, it should be a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy the series. What's up, buddy? What's going on? You ready? Oh yeah, man. Bro, you're about to be a, a semi-professional race car driver. Life-changing events are unfolding. You missed a good dinner last night. Did I? Yeah. Well, you missed sweet races. <laughs> so, uh, I talked to Jenny, and... She... Jenny texted me this morning. She was like, so what kind of car are you getting? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like, sweet. Yeah. She we was... get Jerry Yang on board. It's fucking... Yeah, um... no, we're actually... This is Jerry Yang, by the way. Yeah, it's Jerry Yang, man. I feel this thing. So, you, this, so you... This is... ATL. This is your baby yeah, from the ATL, ground up. Atlanta? ATL. Yeah, yeah, you represent. You can find me in the A on it, A on it. During dinner, she actually got Jerry on FaceTime and just like, took a, she was like, hey, so you're gonna do this for Joe and, and, and she was Poor like, Jerry. And Jerry's like, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, that poor bastard. <laughs> the guy was in the shop still working on his car. I thought he, I thought he was at your dinner. No, 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 no. Oh my God, that guy is so dedicated no, to Formula Drift. Yeah, basically like he's like doing his own thing right now. And so, because like, I was thinking, look, there's nobody helping him or anything. I know, he's building that car from yeah. scratch. And so his race is in... Yeah, in I'm going to text him right now. He's like, dude, you do not need to help us, man. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. But he said, like, after his race in June, he's, uh, he's, he's free. I know, but... So. Jenny can be a, a powerful woman. You got to be careful with her. That poor bastard. Yeah, I, I felt, felt kind of bad because like she was just like, "You're gonna do this for him," and I was like, "Why don't you just ask? Don't, don't, you know, don't tell him. Demand it from him." Do you mind if we grab a coffee? No, no, no. Actually, a nice screen. All right. So take two because my iPhone just creates static randomly. Hopefully, I can clean some of it up, but. Uh, we're talking about all the things that can go wrong. It's definitely not as fun when you're doing a take two. Yeah, I know. Um, so, all the things that can go wrong with lemons and all, all of my uh, huge amount of research that I've done on YouTube. Everything goes right. We buy this guy's car at a good price. We build this whole thing. We go to the race in December. Uh, lap two, you don't even get to drive after buying this car because I'm driving <laughs> and I get T-boned and the car is ruined and you don't get the race. Understood. We so. can sell the parts that are in there, you know, try to recoup costs, but not a lot of fun. Scenario two, we win the race, which is definitely not going to happen. And they buy our car for 500 bucks and we lose all of our money, which includes like roll cage, which would probably cost like, you know, $2,000 in labor and parts or yeah. 1000 Uh but honestly, I think I don't, we, I don't think that'll I think happen. We, yeah, I think we would get a feel for that, you know. Like yeah, if, you know. What are we gonna do? Just leave the race halfway through? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they want to buy it. We're out of here. Yeah, 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 I don't exactly. think so. I don't think so. Besides, it's for the children. Um, it's like once we leave, like once we're done with the race, just drive on out, just like go home. Yeah. <laughs> we see ya. We don't, we don't want the Peace prize out. money. Let's keep it. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, so what else? We can buy this car and it is beyond my ability to repair the rotary engine. Um, and I know you brought up sourcing another one. How cheap we can do that and stand or budget is going to be tough with this car. Um, or, or even just like, you know, shipping the engine off to like a rebuilder or something, you know? That'd be way more. Oh, really? Yes, way more. The nice thing about rotaries is that a lot of times you can just replace a couple apex seals or springs. Wait, isn't um, that what the guy thought was gone? Was the apex seals? Yeah, but yeah, that's just his, that's his guess. It could be a, a possum in there for all he knows. I mean, unless you take it apart. Now, an apex seal can bounce around inside of the engine and, and score and gouge up all of the stuff. Um, carbon also builds up in the exhaust ports, and those big blocks of carbon can break free and bounce around and beat up a bunch of stuff. Um, 
Sometimes the side the side housings are okay. Now this is, to be honest, it'll probably be all right, and we can always just get one piece, and it'll be okay. This thing isn't gonna dyno the regular two hundred and five or ten horse that it's supposed to, or okay. two, not one hundred and ninety or something like that. It's not gonna do that. Yeah, we'll be lucky if we get like one sixty out of it. That's I mean, that's just what's gonna happen. I mean, and I, really, I think what we should be more concerned about is. Not getting as much power or squeezing as much power out of it. It's just making it more durable, you know? Yeah, the longevity. Yeah. Uh, so, the rotary engine is, is mostly just cooling and fuel. Okay. Oh, another expense? Fuel tank. If we if we use a fuel cell, I don't know what the stock RX-8 fuel tank is, but it is an endurance race, um, and rotaries are really thirsty. It might be more beneficial to get a fuel cell. I think you're allowed to have one up to 25 gallons, which okay. might be a lot better. But I don't know how much they are, so we have to look at that. But it could save them a lot of pit stops. Okay. You know, I don't know how many laps we'll get out of a full RX-8 tank if it's like 16 gallons or something. Um, and it's also a lot safer, which is nice. So just, just food for thought. Um, man, there's so many expenses in racing. Anybody that's just watching this and thinks that you just throw down $500, watch a lot more than just our videos. Subscribe to ours, um, and you'll see that it's it's, a, it's like a $6,000 adventure. I mean, with all the safety equipment, helmets, Hans devices, fireproof clothing, shoes, gloves, roll cage. You got to think about a tent that you can work under in the, the hot blazing sun, uh, tools, Spare brake pads, rotors, tires, tires, wheels. They're not gonna let you run with dry rotted tires, and you probably won't do too well. I mean, I know it's just about having fun. Theme costume expenses. I mean, if, if we're gonna be the holy rollers or a bunch of care bears or something, I think we should do something that's kind of related to children for St. Jude's Hospital, which is the charity we're gonna try to run for. Um, but we do need to have something. Mario Kart. Mario Kart would be good. I wish if we could get other teams to do it too, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> you know, like that one team cool. is like a princess team, and oh, you have a Mario yeah. team and a Yoshi team. That would be freaking awesome. Um, so if anybody else is doing that this year and is doing the Road Atlanta one in December, holler at us. That'd be awesome to coordinate. Um, and uh, yeah, and if you also want to donate per lap, or just a straight to St. Jude, so I'll send some links in the, in the description below. Um, what other what other things can go? Even if even if we can't rebuild the car and we want to switch cars, although it'd be in, in a lot of work, we could part the car probably more than what we bought it for anyway. Um, so that's that option there. Um, oh, where's that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so that took about three hours. <laughs> um, we ended up going to the Rockbridge U-Haul here in Georgia with one poor lady working there by herself. Uh, the other person called in, uh, about to hook up the, the th everything, and we find out that his light plug doesn't match what's on the U-Haul. Well, first, is, no, first getting that damn uh, ball in. Oh, yeah. So first we have a hard time. The Forerunner winch design, there's not a lot of player room. And uh, maybe I can get some video of that later, just to show what I'm talking about. Um, that took forever. We ended up hammering the cotter pin in uh, to make it fit. And, and it's good. It's not like it's unsafe, but it wasn't easy. It's never coming out. Yeah, it's never coming out, that's for sure. Um, and then we go to hook up the light plug. The freaking thing is different. They don't, they're out of adapters, and this poor lady's by herself. So we end up doing the supply run for her to another U-Haul down the road, we get like five of them, we take one and we give her four so she can keep her business going. Um, and we finally get on the road and we're leaving at like 12.30, or no, 1.30 almost, or 1.40. We're supposed to be there too. Guy's super cool though, He's he just doubles the price on the car since we're late, which was nice of him, so. Some hefty negotiations coming up. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Right now it's just a team of two, just me and Joe. We were supposed to do it last year, and then uh, Joe decided to betray my trust and friendship and bail on me last minute. And uh, not last minute, I mean, we were supposed to go check out one, and we just, it's a big endeavor, and it's the timing wasn't right. And then this year, Joe brought it up again, and uh, now we're picking up a car. Yeah, 
I mean, talk about commitment. You know, that's the one thing I was worried about. I suggested wood cars, like, let's go get it this weekend. So, and he's paying for it, so I can't say shit now. So yeah, so that's that's where we're at, and we're on our way. Never seen it before, besides Craigslist. But what could go wrong? I mean, Craigslist has been uh, always good to me. You know, yeah, there's no scams on there. No, not at all. Um, dating used to be really good until they got rid of that, unfortunately. Take a video. On yeah, that. buddy, we're rolling up, man. We're point half a mile away from from your from your future race car. Yeah, I just hope we don't get jacked on the way. Yeah, well, we'll have it all on video. <laughs> Unless they take the phone. Yeah, that's probably what they'd steal too. I don't think he'd call to organize which way the car is going to be facing if he's really going to jack us. That's a nice one, though. So this is like one level up from like a trailer park? Um, yeah. A little bit. Look like those quick makeshift homes. Yeah, like the, the prefab. Yeah, you got to start somewhere, bro. This guy just had the worst car. To, uh, to play with because our rotary engines are just expensive girlfriends. Alright. There it is! Oh, sh wait, where? Right there, right in front of us. Oh, oh okay. Yeah! yeah. Alright. I'm gonna try to reverse this. Ah, oh, boy. Man, look at that. It looks, it looks good, man. I'm excited. <laughs> 